So wait, you can get hair transplant and a hair system together? So guys, I've been on YouTube this morning, scouring the platform, looking for people who had had hair transplants, usually failed hair transplants, and then they'd gone for the hair system route. And yes, there's quite a lot out there. However, I came across one video which really piqued my interest, and I thought you guys might find it quite interesting as well. It's people who have both a hair transplant and a hair system at the same time. Now, the reasons for this are many, and I'm gonna talk about them later in this video, so do make sure you stay tuned. But initially, let's talk about hair transplants, a basically where men or women who experience hair loss have hair, they call it donor hair from the sides and the back put into the top of their head where they're experiencing hair loss. That's what a hair transplant is. There's a lot of more modern techniques compared to what we used to have 20 years ago. FUE seems to be the most uh, common and most popular technique that's used in hair transplantation today. Now, FUE hair transplants are basically where they take out singular hairs from the back of the head and they put them into the areas that are actually balding on top. Now, surgeons tend to use like a micro punching technique where it pulls out singular hairs and then punches them into the top of the head where the area of hair loss is happening. It usually happens over two to four sessions and it's kind of generally replaced the sort of hair plugs route. So that's F-U-T, which didn't give us natural appearance. F-U-E just gives a much more natural appearance. It gives a better hairline appearance and that kind of thing. Generally as well, patients seem to get better responses with it. Now, what are hair systems? Hair systems are effectively modern toupees. It basically gives you whatever kind of appearance that you want with hair and the results are instant. You can choose whatever density you want. You can choose how realistic you want the hairline to be. You can choose what color you want and there's no needles, no surgery. It's completely pain free. And virtually everyone is a candidate. With hair transplants, there's a lot of people who can't have it because they're not the right candidate for a transplant. With hair systems, virtually everyone can get one, which is why they're so popular. So why would people combine the two? Well, I'm gonna show you this video right now where the surgeon himself explains that some people don't have enough donor hair to have a full hair transplant. Some people just can't afford a full transplant and it's more affordable to get a system and a partial transplant. And some people may just not get the coverage that they're hoping for with a transplant. So they tend to sort of mix the two to get the desired effect. So let's check out this video. The other day on my YouTube channel, a guy mentioned hair pieces, hair systems, and he couldn't afford to get multiple hair transplants. So he had this idea of doing the an aficionado in terms of what a good yeah. And over the past year and a half, I would say I've really become a bit, bit more of an aficionado in terms of what a good hair system or hair piece, if you will, uh, entails. And we have a lot of patients where they'll come in and they're very good candidates for doing, say, a frontal hairline restoration, or maybe they have so much hair loss that they don't have enough hair to, to cover front to back, but they're great for, you know, being able to afford, say, what we can do with a natural hairline restoration, and they're okay with filling it in or using, you know, in the rear part, a hair system or... So what the surgeon is saying here, and it's really, really, really insightful, is that he tends to give them a transplant at the front because it may well give a more realistic hairline appearance because the hair is literally coming out of your scalp. The hair is literally coming out and further back you can have a hair system because effectively if you're comparing a hair transplant hairline and a hair system hairline, he's indicating that possibly the hair transplant route in terms of the frontal may give a more realistic hairline. Or hair piece, if you will. Then it comes down to the patient. Sometimes there's a patient that they only have a, a certain budget where they can only afford to work in the front, but they could afford to do the front and let the back be covered with a hair system if they don't mind the ongoing maintenance. So that. So what he mentions here, as I mentioned earlier in the video, is the cost. Hair transplants are really expensive and it's very unusual to find a payment plan, okay? Now with hair systems, it kind of almost is like having an ongoing payment plan. You can buy a system that will last you four months and it will cost about 
two to three hundred dollars maximum and you kind of pay that ongoingly throughout a year so it's much more affordable and it's much more sustainable way of getting hair back on your head and also getting a partial hair transplant is way cheaper because they they base it off of the grafts that you'll need okay so the lower the graft the cheaper the transplant that's a, a, a really don't want them taking that system on and off it affects the growth of the graft it ends up being a catastrophe so but many times we will do say just a restoration in the front and then they continue wearing a hair system in the back and that doesn't affect anything and they can transition the hair and it grows naturally so what he says there is he doesn't encourage people who have had a transplant and are wanting that to grow and while they're waiting that for that to grow having a hair system on he doesn't recommend that because it can ruin the grafts now could this be suitable for you yeah possibly are you okay with surgery are you not okay with surgery do you have the financial capital to be able to have hair systems at the same time as actually buying a hair transplant albeit a smaller hair transplant which might cover the front there's obviously increased costs if you have both rather than just having a hair system if you have a really expensive hair transplant and you don't mix it with a hair system it could be a very expensive failed experiment we've all seen hair transplant disasters now if you were to ask me my opinion i'm very happy with having full base hair systems but I'd like to hear your guys' opinions. Have you had this procedure? Have you had a mix of, do you wear a mix of hair system and hair transplant? Let me know. Is it something that you would consider? This is a really, really interesting topic, guys. So I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. If you did take this route, it's very likely that you'd resort to using a partial hair system rather than a full hair system. I did a video on partials a while ago. It's popping up on the screen right now. Really interesting video. Now, if you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up it will help the channel grow i'll speak to you very soon guys bye for now